Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Victoria 2 with your host, me. Last episode, we made a few states out of Idaho and Minnesota. We've been doing our sphering. We made the Panama and the Suez Canals, finally. Which, you know, is really great. They stopped influencing Colombia altogether. Now everyone's going after Sweden. who I So I have to go pretty fast. I just banned Belgium a couple, like last episode. And this episode, we're going to invade Canada to free the people of New Brunswick. But first, what I need to do, I'm waiting for my my um, navy to be done, actually. I've just been trying to wait for my navy to be done. So in about a hundred days, I guess, once th this set of ships is done, we will start our justification. Actually, we can start the justification now. I don't know if Germany will join them or not. I don't think so. I would love to send my ships over here to block these guys, but I think the, G the UK would just blow up my ships. I mean, I was going to do that, but then I just realized now that the, the United Kingdom will just blow up my ships without hesitation with their, like, 100-guy 100, 100 fleet here. So what I might have to do instead is just make a s fleet to block the entire coast here. Maybe split these guys up and use them as bait, pretty much, so I know if any have been destroyed. And then... and then use the main fleet to destroy the Brits. Trouble is brewing. It seems that the United Kingdom has decided to back the southern Serbia. Naval base max level. Max level. What we want now Let's just do this because we can. Permanent prestige, factory put into. Uh, oh, te uh, mining efficiency. Oh, we can make a state in Colorado. But w what is the crisis? Let me get this straight. Someone wants. Eh, I don't need to humiliate CB on the UK. So, Serbia's trying to find someone to support them against the United Kingdom. No one will. Oh, France did. Okay. I don't want to join this. I really don't. Because I want to go and... I don't think I can actually go to war until this is over now, because I'm a great power. So, great. Thanks, guys. Um... Bavaria is going to support the UK. Austria is going to support the UK. Germany is going to support the UK. Belgium is going to support the UK, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, France. You're you're screwed if you don't accept a peace offer. I am joining the UK as well if everyone else does. I wanted to be allies with France, but they they've been adamantly against it because because they're buddies but, uh, with Austria, whoever. Austria, who's still going to side with the UK. Um, I want to increase relations with Denmark so they don't attack me for Iceland ever. Germany. I'd love to be allies with Germany at one point, but might not happen. Russia. Forget the Ottomans. The Egyptians. Let's increase with some of these guys so we can... Eh, let's leave it for now. And then, uh, so it looks like Portugal, if they had colonial power, would be able to colonize a lot of that, but they're not going to. Because that reminds me, the coloni co um, colonizing comes up in about four years, so everyone's going to be running all over the place to colonize. Personally, I don't have any interest in colonizing this game. It doesn't really... It doesn't really, um interest me all that much so it's just more land to worry over so let them fight over it 
let's make a state in Colorado, of course. How's our things going here? We put some of our something on Panama. We'll move it from Panama to Idaho. We're going to try and win over all the little states with the Southern Democrats, and hopefully that'll add up later on. Yeah, we're pretty much done uh, researching. Or not researching, um, building ships. So, what I, I don't think I can actually wage war, though, during this conflict. So I'm going to wait this out a little bit. Two years for a conflict? I would. Sp I'm not going to be the first one to support the UK. That's for sure. Cause yeah, that'd be weird. I don't think I can wage war on them if they're in a conflict either. Cause they're in a conflict, so that'd be weird. Let's fast forward time a little bit and let this progress. Why is this going downhill? Probably because of building stuff. Roads. Let's increase our naval bases, actually. Whenever we can. We can't yet. I wish I could set them to auto-expand. Some of our, our upper-class bases can already be expanded for $30,000. All right, let's just do Norfolk, then, for that. Forget the others for now. And Washington, I guess. There we go. $60,000 spent. Was it worth it? Probably. One of our colonies is reporting astounding success in the development of local commercial ventures and business to the colonial offices. According to the local governor, the primary reason seems to be an ambitious land reform undertaken in tandem with American capitalists and industrialists. The colony is reportedly becoming more attractive to immigrants, and the report reflects well on our industries as well. All consciousness in the USA gain consciousness, and American Sinai gain one ri life rating, which is the Suez Canal. Or all cabinet cover up the report and less the capitalists get uppity and lose consciousness. Capitalism doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they have consciousness. So the UK is going to sphere the United Kingdom, lol, or the Ottoman Empire. Yeah, sorry, France. Oh, man. Are we going to have to wait two years for this? I really didn't want to do that. But I guess in the meantime, we can build a, th a fourth army now that our things have regenerated. Let's see if we can afford some steel. Probably not, actually. This is the guy that needs a steel horse. Let's, let's try and give him a steel horse, then. In Massachusetts. Can we give him a steel horse? A cuirassier. Is that Washington State or Washington, D.C.? I'm not sure. Probably Washington, D.C. Because it's Dixie, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, it's building automatically. It was just all those railroads, I think. Ah... Railroads building all over the place. France accepted white, white peace from the UK? Great. Great to hear. Let's bring them back to Washington. Close that. Open this one. And let's actually create a state in Washington. In or nope, nope, nope. Let's save that. Let's start waging war on the United Kingdom and praying that they don't decide to bring Germany into it. If they do, we might be dead, but hopefully not. Justify war, free people. We can acquire 7.5 infamy, that's okay. We'll lose it in about uh, five months or six months. Proceed. So we have 150 days plus a year after that to get our military ready. You see, the reason I chose to free New Brunswick is because it's small. It's right here. It's one of the smallest ones there is because this island is part of Newfoundland, which is the purple. All of that. 
also it is the closest arguably I mean these Quebec and Ontario touch us but look how large they are Newfoundland is small it borders us I mean it's literally right next to us so it's easy enough to capture without getting into with the Brits too much and it won't take forever to annex to conquer I keep thinking a different word sorry to conquest the whole thing conquer I'm gonna save these for states until after we war with Britain so they don't take them and uh, get war score from it probably won't because most of their British or their Canadian army appears to be right there but oh the UK's or um, Germany's in a war for what oh the Franco-Prussian war Germany and the UK are pretty much and Denmark are at war with France Portugal Austria and some of the and the Italian states for what liberate Alsace Lorraine which is a common thing Alsace Lorraine is a French state right there this green one I'll show you in a second the Spanish flu was an influenza pandemic that killed somewhere between 50 to 100 million people worldwide between the years eight, 1918 to 1920. Due to increased trade, colonial contacts, commerce, and other myriads of global connections that had all increasingly made the world a, similar pla a smaller place throughout the 19th century, the Spanish flu was able, able to spread quickly across the world in a mere few years. Further aggravated by the ongoing First World War and the cramped living conditions in the trenches, the Spanish flu it's one of the first and most terrifying examples of a truly global pandemic. And come to think of it, haven't you been feeling a bit feverish lately? We can get population growth or pop consciousness. Eh, whatever. Alsace Lorraine is the state right there, pretty much. Well, like right there. Germany will probably get it just because of how strong they are right now. They're I'm glad this isn't a militaristic game or else we'd be in some bad shape. So we can make four states now. I guess everyone is moving westward now after the Civil War. That's what it looks like because everyone's becoming Yankee. Oh geez. Oh geez. Okay, pause. An election is starting, but we just got our Cass's belly without getting any infamy. That's un unheard of for me. Okay. I wasn't ready for that because I was still sped up. I forgot about that. Duh. Um, they started to mobilize their reserves. What I do... So, they're busy with Germany fighting France. That's actually perfect for us. Unfortunately, it's not later on, but... This is okay for now. What we're going to do... Where's our third army? It's right there. Go up here. I'll leave these two guys to fight the Brits. These will... They have a good general. Some speed to take New Brunswick fast. They attack. You have attack. and A little less morale, but that's okay. And we're going to give it a couple days, I guess. Let's increase our relations. I'm not going to call my allies into this because it's a pretty easy... I'm not going to call them into it unless Germany joins, which they probably won't because they're at war with France anyways. Um, Greece. I'll at least increase relations, even if the other guys, you know, whatever. Fully, almost fully relations with almost full relations with them there we go now I'll give it a couple days because we have one year now to actually enact to actually go on the Cass's belly it expires on December 30th 1867 so as soon as we're ready yeah I'll merge these guys and then we'll go actually I was going to set up my navy too so let's do that this is 27 ships. Um, how many bodies of water are there blocking the whole coast? One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, pretty much, up to Greenland. Eh, so that'd leave about two ships per thing. I don't like those odds. I don't really like those odds. But I have 22 here as well. So four ships per per thing, I guess. All right, let's let's start up here. Or near Greenland, whatever that is. Let's get rid of four ships. I guess we have about the same amount of seven of 22 are these guys, which is not good for me. Whatever, I'll send them up there. Exploding Green Bay. A lot of states available. We'll do that ASAP. Increase tariffs again. We're still losing money for some reason. Lower our naval unit cost to 75. We're going to need it, but... Um, let's do Southern Democrat if possible. Protectionism. Sorry. Oh, everyone likes free trade, though. That's bad. Whatever. Let the chips fall where they may. Mechanized mining. Once they... They probably will close their reserves off as soon as possible. Mining output. Let's do an army tech as well. Breech-loaded rifles. Just in case. We need it against the Brits. Wurttemberg. Once white piece from France. Um, Britain has started to mobilize their reserves, but they haven't gotten rid of them yet. Once they do, that's when we can strike. Because they usually do after like one day, like any armies. But um, Southern Democrats both like moralism. There we go. I'm going to vote for the Southern Democrat ones if I can. Try and encourage it a little more. Maybe it'll make a difference. Uh, do -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba. Create a new unit. Oh, frigates, yuck. Let's, okay, let's do that and that then. Actually, those four stay here. And then you get rid of... The fourth fleet will consist of... Those guys. Washington. The fifth fleet will go down here. Uh, protectionism. Everyone likes free trade, though, because I did that, so I can't vote for the, the protectionism on this one. Plus, it would just go to the Democrats anyways, or the liberals, whatever. SCA. How's Columbia doing? Okay. I can split these guys up. And the ten, the six-man fleet will go down here. Now we have our Canadian border covered. It's only March, so we have plenty of time. Actually, we have about a 15 to 20 ratio, so 1 to 2. No, that's 3 quarters of that, so... One for every. Th I have no idea. I'm I'm being dumb here. Sorry. So three for every four, pretty much. But then I can only do five squad for eight. Yeah, five squads, which is not quite enough. I don't think. One. Two. Actually, you know what? Forget it. That should be plenty, right? Because that guy's moving there. 
state capitalism. The socialists like that, but they're not going to win, so... And it's winning anyway, so state capitalism. There we go. So I only really need to be split into, like, two groups. So, for now, let's do that. Balance. They have good attack and defense. You have good attack and defense as well. Neither one of them has speed, but... These guys are looking low on that stuff. But whatever. We can sphere Argentina a little bit. Let us start... Without further ado, of course. Let us start our war with Britain. While they're fighting. These guys are merged, correct? They're not. Great. We will attack those guys and wherever that is. Since breach loaded rifles isn't gonna be done anytime soon. I'm gonna save the game actually. Just to be safe. Game saved. Let's wage war on the United Kingdom. Free people of Canada. I think it should be here somewhere. Canada, not Newfoundland, not Quebec. Because those will release the actu those actual countries. And the people of New Brunswick demand to be released. None of our allies will help. That's great to know anyways. To Canada from the United Kingdom. Proceed. Oh, please. I'm at war with Germany. Great. But I don't think they're going to focus on me before I can capture all this. You, start out there. Start in the way back. Is our military up all the way? They like limited citizenship, that's fine. How far can we go up with this? 87, 90%? That's great. Right about there. War taxes, war taxes. Get your war taxes. That way we can even see what, where, if they're coming or not. Oh, oh, forgot to actually attack the Canadians. We need to kind of go over there and help them. Are you going? I think he is, yeah. They're holding themselves quite well. A limited citizenship. We won 26 to 39,000. Where are they going? To Kingston. I'll cut them off. And the other 21 stack I'll send afterwards. We're going to just crush this stack. These guys have invaded already. They're starting to take our territory. This is a state, unfortunately, but that's fine. They're doing well taking land. We're about to crush that army, I think, and gain war score for it. 2,000. We got plus two war score. Where are they going? Running to Toronto. Let's have our stronger stack go to Toronto and deal with them. A lot of railroads as well. I like that. After those guys are done, we'll have them move. A state capitalism. Only because the liberals, or because the communists aren't going to win yet. Nobody appears to be coming. I sh uh, Toronto, we crush them. Now let's just conquer that land. Why not? Actually... These guys should go, just just to get more war score, go kill them. That guy's already conquered half of whatever that is. So we'll let him continue, and then we'll move him over to New Brunswick to help out. France accepted the peace offer. White peace from Baden. Uh, Colombia. So a bunch of places, really. 
Greece agreed to aid the United Kingdom in their war. Moorhead, that's got to be on the other side of... Yeah, that's okay. We'll let them keep going, because Moorhead isn't a state. Whatever that is. Um, we like moralism. How close are you guys? There. Go back to New Brunswick and help them out. You're done. Uh, can you go to Prince Edward Island? You can, but let's not waste time. Our ships are okay. Our ships are okay. Why do I have two groups of them there? I don't know. Because I miscounted. Whatever. Transvaal. Let the war go. No! Kill me now. Kill me now. The Republican Party got the vote. Kill me now. Oh, now what do we have to do? We can't build factories. We can't expand factories. We can't... We can't subsidize factories. Which means all of them are going to get shut down. Great. 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 Kill me now. Thank you very much. Uh, and I have to wait at least a year before I can force another election. Whatever. Decrease opinion of... Who's friendly here? France is. So is Belgium. God. Why do you guys have to be such killjoys? Like, really? Ban embassy of France, I guess. But then... Whatever. Ban France's embassy. Decrease Transvaal. Opinion of anyone else trying to get in. United Kingdom get banned. All right. Let's... God, now our economy's going to tank because our taxes are cut in half. Oh, kill me now. We can increase tariffs. It's about all we got going for us. All right. All right. Tax at 60%. All right. Let's get over this blunder and just move on. Our ships are looking fine. Ugh. Hopefully I can speed through a year here. This is ridiculous. I'm actually really salty about that. What, where did my national focus is? Like, really? What is this? Idaho? Why do I have one in Idaho? Oh, that's why, but... Still, come on. Okay, looks like everything I have is going towards... Eh, not everything. Um, Ohio... Want to be more conservative? Or, well, uh, New England? Uh, who needs it? Tennessee doesn't, thank goodness. Uh, Indiana does. Over Mass over Idaho, God. I didn't want Ohio. I wanted Indiana. Thank you. Kentucky needs it a little bit, too. Take it from Massachusetts. Blah, 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 blah. Jesus. This is great. I'm really just salty about that. Bank Mexico's bankrupt. If I, if I wanted to go to war with them, I could, but then I have to get my relations back up again, and that's dumb. So no thanks. Uh, for what? For ten bucks? How much did they take from us? A hundred bucks? Mexico, seventeen dollars. We can get seventeen dollars back from Mexico if we go to war with them. And factories are already going unemployed or closing down. That's fantastic. It's actually, I'm just really salty about that. The Republican Party. Which is actually the Democratic Party. So, great. Honestly, forget you guys. Just go back to New Brunswick and take it. Military if we need to later. Eh, I don't know. Forget it. Just take them. Kill them. Kill that group. Tax efficiency plus one. Great. Come on. I could have, uh, whatevered my troops, uh, mobilized, but didn't feel like it. Figured it'd be an easy enough war. Also, I kind of forgot about it at the time. Railroads, winery, uh, bears, oh my. 
Mexico Bank bankrupt. Tuscany. Occupation of Bathurst. See, we're, we're pretty much already occupied it all. 50% we have. Franco-Prussian War still going on, but France is winning. They want North German Rhineland, which is kind of hilarious. If only I could join that war just to just to tick uh, Britain off. So they want Rhineland, which is that, I think. Because that's North German Rhineland, yeah. So they want that right there. Which is funny. Wow, the other guys have taken quite a bit of territory, but we might be able to beat them because it's on our turf, not theirs. And these guys I will use to take the last uh, Prince Edward Island. There you go. Take whatever island. You start Ramuski, just an extra land. Actually, just go back and take that land. I don't care. Help them. And these guys, I gotta go back and unsiege that. This isn't a state yet, luckily. That's why I chose not to make these states, because I figured they might do this. Idaho's a state, though, so that's trouble. A liberal professor at one of our universities has published a pamphlet on economics um, that received serious attention in liberal circles, both in the USA and abroad. The pamphlet is a profound little tract, urging, arguing in eloquent terms the virtues of free marketing and laissez-faire, and the author is now being mentioned in the same breath as luminaries such as Ricardo and Smith. Okay, we've already read this, I think. All middle strat, more liberal, God help me. Ugh, whatever. Well, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I don't want to make an episode too long for you, because I know those get annoying. So, looks like our naval defenses are doing fine. Oh, oh, ho, ho, very ballsy of you there. Real quick, I, I, yeah, forget end of the episode junk here. Just, I don't even care. Give me a leader for this guy. Come on. Can you do that for me? Can you do that for me? That's annoying if you... Actually, two of them at least are, are transport, so... Two at minimum. Western coast of Greenland on October 20th. Gosh. Where'd you go? Oh, you're fighting us. That <laughs> lel. Stupid. At least two are transports. Oh, one. That's okay. Guess what, bud? We're making a breach in our naval defense, but that's fine. Because they have another, an extra mothership, but that's okay. I think that was the weak one with the, with the, um, the two frigates as well, so. Lol. Steam transport attack and clipper attack, but navy's overall attack. Great timing, by the way. I just wanted to do this naval battle, because lol, we're blowing up their ships left and right. They have one surviving mothership and one frigate. Uh, third fleet is going to Labrador Sea. Labrador Strait? No, Labrador Sea. Where is that? Oh, back here. Lol. You need to go heal up. Um... Don't see anyone else coming. I'm just going to take a quick peek. Sorry about that. I didn't want to make a long episode for you. Oh, we were faster than them, huh? Where are they going now? Oh, they're coming to us. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. They're in our body. What? We're at war with Greece. What is this? Fortune Bay? Where are they? Okay, go to Fortune Bay. I don't care. Go ahead. Go to Fortune Bay. Brazil has gone bankrupt. That sucks. Why are they in our body? How is that possible? That shouldn't be possible. They're Greek.
Okay, I'm just trying something real quick. It doesn't look like anybody else is coming, which is good. Oh, the Greeks are just da docking up there. Okay. They can stay right where they are. I don't mind. Who's the one that has speed? Sure, take Ottawa. Those are That's usually pretty important. take this guy. Oh man, they're getting pummeled for, um, yeah. Let's dock these. Right now. My god, let's dock these right now before they get destroyed. Before they break and, my god, I don't know why. Because they're, they're eating attrition, I guess because there are too many of them to dock them back up before they... Wow, that was stupid of him. I'm sorry guys, this is Like I was saying, sorry guys, this is a long episode. I just, I wanted to do this real quick. Come on, destroy their navy. Where are they running to? Western Gibbs Fracture, which has got to be out here. Follow them. One of them will follow. They can fight, right? Why wouldn't they be able to fight? Okay, that's just where they're coming from, or going to, I don't know. We'll arrive in Western Gibbs. I guess one ship arrived, but the rest didn't. I, I'm not sure. Oh. They're retreating to February 24th. Are we going to be there before then? Yeah, easily. Easily. Get eaten, bud. What? I don't know why it's allowing them to do that. Whatever. Retreat. Go take this guy's spot. Protect Labrador Sea. Anyways, that'll be it for this episode. The Greeks are sieging useless land, like, it's kind of funny, because it's not a state, so it doesn't matter. We've taken all of New Brunswick, and we're taking other land now. Well, they're taking some land, too, but it doesn't matter. That's all for this episode, guys. I will see you all next time.